guys, welcome to the best beaches in Bali video. We've come down to Uluwatu, the south of Bali, where we believe the best beaches are located. And our first stop is Bingen Beach here. Oh, what a beautiful beach. Not only is Bingen Beach good for surfing and stuff, there's actually a surf competition happening now. There's huge, huge waves out there and it's so epic, the water's so blue. There's also awesome beach bars and restaurants. And then if you take a left, on the beach you come to these rock formations and little safe coves in amongst the rocks and you can just chill here and find your own private beach and I love this beach personally because it's an awesome spot to pick up shells. And if you want to stay over in this area there are tons of sea cliff hotels to stay at. We are currently staying at Bale at Bingen Beach and it's highly recommendable. It's very very cute little rooms, air conditioned with a beautiful view. Stomach in, chest out. Bum out, get it. I haven't been to Greece and I haven't been to Italy, but this really reminds me of Santorini, Greece, some of the islands there where a lot of the restaurants and the hotels are all on the cliff. It's very similar here. I'm scared, Jeff. I'm scared. Monkeys. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. He's gonna attack me. Alright, beach number two is Padang Padang Beach. It's very organized here. You do have to pay an entrance fee of 15,000 rupiah per person to come here. But they've got hand washing stations <laughs> and a whole bunch of monkeys doing naughty monkey things. Wow, this is. Such a cool walk down. Amazing, it's very steep. This is definitely a cute little secluded beach. Very, very beautiful. Just make sure you come early in the day, maybe before 5 p.m. because the sun goes down over the cliffs and it gets really shady. So that's my only recommendation. And also be careful of all the monkeys. <laughs> so many dogs here trying to catch monkeys. Okay, the next beach for today is Suluban Beach. It is also known as Blue Point Beach. So far the walk down is pretty chilled, not so steep. And it's about 100 meters from the parking area, which is pinned in the description. So go and check that out if you want to know exactly where the beach is. There's multiple parking areas actually, different entrances to this beach. Hello! <laughs> nice little lady selling a few things. Also some cold drinks at the top of the hill for you. Just a warning, no good things come easy. Especially these incredible beaches in Uluwatu, almost all of them have very steep stairs down so just prepare yourself for that they're not too bad if i can do it then you can do it but it's totally worth it because these beaches are really beautiful best in bali is cool amazing cliffs and coves yeah just look at this see how it's been crafted out of the rock by the ocean and now it's low tide so you can walk here you can tell the sand is pretty wet the water definitely comes in here every afternoon it's pretty sweet eh wow that's true why are we the only ones here there's nobody oh, here there's other people coming some surfers coming
Okay, this could quite possibly be one of the best beaches in Uluwatu. It is so private, there's so many little coves, especially at low tide, you can walk around the head. Wow, and you just explore this peninsula, it's so beautiful. I wanted to say that this is like a beautiful hidden beach, it's just a hidden gem but the truth is during peak tourist season this beach can get very very busy. Nonetheless I still think it's, yeah I'm pretty sure it's my favourite beach in the whole of Bali. To the right if you climb the rocks there's private beaches there and rock pools that you can swim in and then of course there's this main beach that you can walk out for ages until you hit the big waves in the back and just like the cliff is just so unique. and. This little restaurant here on the top is pretty cool too, so definitely come and check this out, it's up there on our list. Okay, the next beach on my list is Nyang Nyang Beach, south of Uluwatu. It is a really cool drive down. Make sure you have a motorbike with good brakes. You don't have to walk down to this one. You can just drive your bike down. So that's super cool. It's really accessible. Uh, if you are going to walk down, it is quite a long walk and it is very steep. So I'd imagine it to be very tiring. But once you're down here, there are sun lounges to hire, which are 100k for two beds. There's a place to get a cold drink and a beer. And there's a really nice toilet and it's a super super long beach so this is cool for if you want to come running on the beach do some exercise play some games and the breakers out there are huge so good for surfing too These are the smallest, cutest shells I've ever seen in my whole life. Like I said, the sand is quite fine further up, but as soon as you get close to the coral reef, millions of cute little shells are deposited here every single day. Uh, look at this one. Oh my goodness, it's tiny. Oh. So, if collecting your shells is your thing, this is the place to be. So this beach is really about observing nature, looking in the coral reefs and do yourself a favor and look at the baby shells and pick them up. It's just unbelievable. I've never done it before but there is just incredible shells out there in the world and little bits of coral. Colorful, colorful coral. And then it's completely surrounded by greenery behind you so it's just a peaceful getaway. It's such an awesome beach for just relaxing and taking it easy and being one with nature. Next up is the first of two incredible beach clubs here in Uluwatu. Accessible only by cable car, welcome to Karma Beach Club. Nestled at the bottom of the cliff, Karma Beach has some of the bluest water we've ever seen, making it one of the top beaches to visit in Bali. You could easily spend all day here swimming, playing volleyball or just lazing on the lounges. Oh, and they have bintangs and great food here too.
Our second beach club is possibly our favorite place to hang out in Bali, and that is Palmer Beach Club. Albeit a bit on the pricey side, it is definitely worth getting some friends together and renting out a day bed here. This has to be one of the most beautiful beaches on the island. And if swimming in the ocean isn't your thing, they also have this awesome infinity pool. Great for a couple of iconic photos. Uluwatu definitely has some incredible beaches, but it's finally time to head up north to a cute little town called Ahmed for the first of the black sand beaches on the list. Besides this amazing beach, which is well known for being a great dive and snorkel spot, Ahmed has arguably one of the best views of Mount Agung, the active volcano on the island. That's seven beaches down and it's now time to head to the western side of the island, starting at Pasut Beach. This beach is the beach to go to if you want to get that epic motorbike on the beach photo. It has the darkest sand we've seen on the island and definitely makes for a unique photo and film location. Next up, we're headed south to the Changu area, which is home to a couple of cool beaches. Our favorite here is Batu Balong or Echo Beach. Mainly because of its proximity to all the cool beach bars and surf schools. If you're a lover of dogs like we are, the second thing to note about Changu Beach is there's dogs everywhere. This is definitely your kind of beach. Make sure to come here at sunset for doggy play date time. On to our final beach on the list, Seminyak Beach. If you're staying at one of the many beach resorts in the area, you're bound to end up on this beach. Well known for its sunset beach bars and designer boutiques, this beach is also great for beginner surfers if that's your thing. That's it, those are our favorite beaches in Bali. Of course, there's so many beaches and we haven't traveled to all of them. So if you have a favorite that we didn't mention in this video, comment the name of it down below. We hope you found this video helpful and if you did, we'd seriously appreciate if you'd give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay tuned for the next video, goodbye.